Let's face it, teachers are busy, and the last thing you feel like doing when you get home is cooking dinner or preparing lunch for the next day. By preparing batch meals for the week, you can save time and money while reducing stress. Today, we'll help get you started with a recipe for a healthy one-pot meal. That's right, we're making chili. All right, here we have everything we need to make a delicious turkey chili. A lot of the time you see chili made with ground beef, but today we're using ground turkey as a lean, healthy alternative. Go ahead and prep all your ingredients before you ever turn your stove top on. First, dice up an onion. You'll want to use a yellow onion for this recipe to get the best flavor. Next, chop up three cloves of garlic. Just use the flat of your kitchen knife to pop these out of their skin and give them a rough chop. Finally, grab a bowl and mix up your chili seasoning. Now, a lot of supermarkets will sell prepackaged chili seasoning, and if you're in a hurry, that can be fine. But let's get the most out of this batch by mixing it fresh. Start with two tablespoons of chili powder. Then, add half a teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of black pepper. Finally, add a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. If you like your chili very spicy, you can add a bit more, but be careful. It's always easier to add more seasoning than to take it away. Now that we're all set up, add a teaspoon of olive oil to a pot and put it on medium heat. When it's hot, add one pound of the ground turkey. When your turkey is nice and brown, add your onion and cook until it's soft and translucent. Next, add a cup and a half of water. If you want to bring some extra flavor and have some on hand, you can use chicken stock instead. Add one 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes and then drain a 16 ounce can of kidney beans and add those in too. Next, add your garlic and what we've all been waiting for, the seasoning. Now, lower your heat to low, put a lid on your pot and let your chili simmer for 30 to 40 minutes. And with that, you're done. That's a good looking bowl of red. This chili makes a ton of leftovers that you can use for lunches and dinners during your week or freeze for future meals. You can use plastic containers to portion out each meal so that it's readily available to reheat and eat. Containers can be expensive sometimes, so when you buy yogurt or sour cream or anything in a plastic container, hang on to them and use them to store your meal. Just remember to put it into a microwave safe dish before reheating. Finally, keep your meal fresh by adding a different garnish each day. On Monday, you can enjoy some sharp cheddar cheese on your chili. Then later in the week, you can add some green onions. Remember, when in doubt, you don't have to eat out. Prep your meals in bulk, and that way you'll have more time during the week to rest, relax, and recharge.